Hey, Kay, we're a grizzly killer. Yes, sir. Hey, you yes, sir. Yes, sir.
this mean to me overall is uh, able to play with this team, um, win this section title with this team. I just love it. It's, the, it's a great feeling. And then I'm just blessed that I can do it with the guys that I'm with now. You close that out with that dunk and then get the steal. What was going through you? What were you feeling at that moment before everyone mobbed you? Uh, history. History and that, you feel me, enjoyment. I can enjoy this moment with my team. Um, I just love them. I just I can't even explain it. It's a wonderful feeling. What was what was it like at the bottom of that of that scrum? I was dying. It was I was dying, but it was it was it was good. I loved it. Did you what, what adjustments did you feel you guys made in the in, at halftime? It wasn't like it was out of hand, but it looked like a different team overall. Uh, intensity and playing defense and keeping our composure. You guys aren't done, right? No, nah, we're not done. Definitely not. <laughs> 
What does it, it feel like to know that you still have some games coming up? Uh, we finna go to state and we finna give it our all. And then shout out J Dot Snatch Team Three. That's me. <laughs> I'm overjoyed. I mean, there's a lot of milestones that were made. I'm excited. Um, as much as it's about the, um, the kids, the school, and the community, to know that I'm the first coach in Grant history to win two section titles, it means a lot. That grind means a lot. I'd be lying if I didn't say so. So I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed right now. When did it set in? It's slowly setting in now. Um, you know, obviously being down at halftime, I was a little worried. Um, I knew we'd make the adjustments, but I was worried. With about three minutes left, I really started to feel it, and that's when it, I'll say with about a minute left, it really started setting in that this is really going to happen. That's awesome. What, um, to, to feel like this is back-to-back -back and, know, and know that you guys have work still left to do. Yes. How much does that just invigorate your, your Oh, it, it, it does. It, I mean, it invigorates us because, um, you know, we've been here before, but we haven't been to the NorCal Championship before. So we definitely still have goals. Um, but this is a great um, midpoint. Right. What can you say about just the grind of that game overall? It looks like it was a different second. It was a grind. It was one of those games that we, we we'd had close games um, this year, but it was a different grind because you knew that both teams really had something they were playing for that were bigger than themselves. Um, I've known Jason for you know for years over at Granite Bay. I know that um, the rivalry has been more football and um, with the two schools, but. Um, I, I just know it meant more than just, you know, the, the personal matchup. It meant a lot to me. Finally, you see the support that you had there tonight. We've seen what that gym looks like packed as mm -hmm. this thing kind of winds down. What does it mean to have that community support, and how much see, are you going to need it kind of going Oh, forward? we're going to need it, and most schools have a great alumni. I don't – there's very few people that I consider to be Grant alumni. They're Pacers for life. It's um, – I grew up in Southern California, and I'm a great alumnus of my high school, but there's nothing like a Pacer for life. And the fact that the Pacer for Life have adopted me, and so much so that people just believe that I graduated from Grant, a Pacer for Life is just totally different. And that community and everybody that was out there, those were Pacer for Lifers. Well said, well said.